What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nick, back with Uncle Mace. In the house, looking fresh and clean. Working on something interesting. Kind of took the past few months to uh, regroup after I got my ass handed to me on that Waltham deal. Back in the zone right now. We're going to look at a 22 unit that we have under agreement at the moment. We've been working on this thing all summer. Hopefully try to get this thing closed out before the end of the year. So today's a great day. A little rainy, traffic, it's December 7th, so it's been a minute since I've been back, been on this thing, but 22 units, all studios, money maker of a property, tons of upside, we're getting a great price on it, and time to work, so uh, no days off, and we push towards the end of the year always, so Uncle May, say what up. What's up, guys? See you in an hour. <sighs> See you in a little bit. Fuck, we're not supposed to go that lane, dude. Look at this schmuck. It's kind of easy. Mace gonna try to fit between the two trucks. Get up here. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah. So, just hit hit a couple of units, fucking destroyed. Just walking through, destroyed, destroyed. Black mold, hoarder. Those are two of the wildest units I've ever seen. So, and we just started. He paid, he chased him, he paid. But, uh, oh, I just had the heat on too much. It's okay. Just grab your honey. Yep. Ah, mm. lower the heat a little bit here, huh? Just keep it empty, I don't want to throw some pipes, you know? No, you, definitely. You left the bureaus here, I'll get rid of them. But, okay. you know, again, you know, I go through, this would be, this guy, he wasn't a bad tenant. I, he just, I think he became a pothead or days. I, I just... <laughs> I just, <laughs> don't, pothead, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. They got bigger problems than pot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah all that's right. all right. I got to the point I couldn't even stand looking at him. Right? And then he was just, and he actually works for my son in law. That's not either. Remember, this one had all of the uh, all of the refrigerators in it. Yeah. You know, I shouldn't have to keep these. I'm going to build it. You ever got a coat to do a new binder here, or you never looked into it? A new binder for the driver? Black top. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Um, a couple years ago, it was like it was a lot less than I thought. of only like seven, eight thousand bucks or yeah. something. Yeah, seven, eight G's. So if you remember this one, this one had all of the appliances and stuff. Yep. So. That's a new stove. That's another one. So I, nice. you know. And now what I do with these when I renovate them, you see it because it's hard to get the small 60-inch um, refrigerators they used to have. Because now when I get those from, you know, and you get the 28-inch refrigerator, you don't want to go more than 28 inches. Yeah. So you get 28-inch refrigerator, most of them are 62 inches high, which is always too low or too high for the cabinet. So now when I do it, you, you pull the cabinets that are low and you push them up to the ceiling. So I, like these, all the cabinet doors are here. This just has to be cleaned up and put together. In fact, the ceiling might have already been painted. This one had a... Uh, 
making our way through some craziness in this one. Craziness, but it's all right. Just be expected. A lot of work to get done. A lot of work, but ton of upside. Date on that. I just look on my my um, depreciation. Usually, I write it on there. I can't believe I did it. You know, it's probably over my thing. But that that is a copper coil boiler. That's a very expensive. Yeah, it's, good it's, check. It's, it's different than just a hot water chamber boiler. It's a hot water coil boiler because it's designed for hot water. It's all copper inside. Um. And then this room, he left a bunch of shit. Do you leave there. anything good, Charlie? I don't know. Let's if you see something, you want it. Get, there's a, there's a, a mannequin there if you want to have some fun with it. Oh, yeah. May I shine some light real quick? Oh, I, got, I got my phone. Sorry, man. I got it. This is where the bath bomb house was. Okay. I just want to clean up. But I'm cleaning all the basements out of all the properties. That was a window here. You said it didn't have a window. Oh, the bedrooms. Yeah, yeah well, see, they had this. She used this. She had her bathroom. She had a living room here. They had a kitchen. There was a whole kitchen, kitchen in there. And um, but <clears throat> I, I just didn't feel comfortable having Somebody someone there. living here. You know, using it for an office or doing something. When the the lady who built this building near this at Lowen used to have a real estate office. This was her real estate office. Be there. What do you want to do? You want to do the drone, or you want I do. to like? But I, uh, get it set up. Who cares? I'll wait. Oh, get hold on. Let's go. We'll come back this way, anyways. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. We just walked this unit, this building. Uh, I mean, kind of what we expected. Some things were, you know, it's got it's got some black mold in a few units. One unit was just fucked, like just stashed with shit everywhere. People were nice, but like. I don't see anyone who's a real problem. They're all quiet and like submissive, submissive personalities, really. But oh, my phone's ringing. We're we're gonna be fucking. We're gonna be all over these people. Oh, I was calling. Greenfield, hold on. Hello. I so I don't I don't have any one beds at the moment, my friend. Yeah, you got it. I'll keep you posted if anything. Thanks. Bye. Ah, uh, someone looking for a one bed. All right, we gotta we gotta figure this out. Uh, I got my book stuck in my ribs. So right now we're on our way to Walnut Street in Springfield, about 20 minutes away. We have to junk out a bunch of stuff, so. Uh, yeah, we're going to wrap our heads around this deal. 22 units, a lot of work, but we're going to figure it out, so see you soon.